Hey, my name is Miss Haley. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing a ballet bun today. They're both going to be for fine to medium hair and sort of a medium to long length. If you have very thick hair or very short hair, this video is not going to work for you. Um, but there will be videos later on that I'm going to do with models who have that hair and I'll show you how to do a ballet bun with that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this cool brush which I got at the dollar store. One side is a brush and the other side is a fine tooth comb. Now this is going to be a ballet bun for just regular dance class, nothing super fancy. I'm going to start by just brushing the top of my hair. I don't need to brush all the way down to the bottom, but you can if you want to. Just smoothing it back, trying to get all the lumps out. Now the most important part of the bun is the ponytail. If you don't have a strong ponytail, you're not going to have a strong bun. So if I have fairly thin hair, I'm going to use one thin rubber band. If I have medium hair, I'm going to use one thicker rubber band. If I have very, very thick hair, I'm going to use two thick rubber bands. And I'm not going to do one and then the other. I'm going to hold both of them together. Now I'm going to use the two just so that I can show you today. Um, it is easier to do hair if you bring it up to the apex of the head, which is up here. If you just find the ears and follow up, that's going to be about the best place to put a bun. Some teachers will prefer a low bun. Some parents find it easier to do their kids' hair in a low bun, but I find that the higher the bun, the easier it is. Now granted, you don't want it on the top of the head. That just looks dumb. So I'm going to scoop it all up. And again, the most important part of the bun is the ponytail holder. Really strong ponytail, really good bun. So I'm going to do my ponytail fairly tight and snug and secure. And you can see, like I said, I'm holding both rubber bands together. So now I've got a really good ponytail. Now always test it. Shake, make sure that nothing is loosened up. Okay, just give it a little tug. Now, it's very simple to just twirl the hair gently. You don't want to tighten it up and twist it as hard as you can so it ends up curling on its own. It's really hard to pin that way. It's a lot easier to do just a very, very basic, simple twist. Wrap it around once or twice depending on your hair length. And then I just adjust the shape a little bit. Now when you put the bobby pins in, this is the most difficult part. Some people use hair pins, some people prefer bobby pins. I just use bobby pins all the way around. And you're not going to just stick the bobby pins in. You're trying to stick the pins into the hair and then push the pin under the two rubber bands or the one rubber band. So your goal is to put the bobby pins into or under the rubber band so that the rubber band is holding the bobby pins down into the hair. And I'm really only just going to do a couple of them. I could probably get away with three, but I'm going to go ahead and do four so that it's round. And I got a bad batch of bobby pins. None of them have little rubber stoppers on the end. <clears throat> now, let's say I have a piece of hair that's like falling down here and I want to pin it up. The best way to do that is to bring this up and you're going to use two pins. You're going to use the bumpy side down against the skull. You're going to put one pin in this way, and then you're going to put another pin in either this way or this way so that it makes an X. Now, if you have two pins that are lined up like this, they can both fall out. If you have two pins that are going like this, Neither of them can go anywhere and it's very secure. So if I had some hair that was like falling down this way, I could do an X here. If I had a tremendous lump here that I couldn't get it to stick down, I could do an X right in here. And then of course, depending on how your teacher likes your hair, throw a hairnet or a bun sweater on top just to keep all these sort of wispies under control. And that's just a really simple, basic ballet class bun, nothing fancy. You can see it's not going anywhere, like I could grab it and tug it and it's not going anywhere. My turns, my combres, everything is going to be fine with this hair. Now I'm going to show you how to do a performance bun, which is a little bit different, only that it's going to be a lot fancier, a lot more careful, and a lot cleaner all the way around. 
it is best to start with dirty hair. You don't want to wash your hair the day before a show. Um, I like to wait like two days. Maybe if your show is on Friday, the last time you wash your hair is gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday. A little bit of the natural oil and grease, maybe some leftover hairspray, it's just gonna help it stay up and not just fall out. I'm gonna dampen my hair just a little bit. It's not gonna be soaking wet. You're gonna have more issues. And just kind of run my fingers through it. It's gonna be a little bit easier to control that way. And I'm gonna start with the same process, but I'm gonna brush all the way down. So I've gotten the hair smooth now. Now we start with the hairspray. You can use hair gel if you want. I prefer just to use hairspray. One product makes it a little easier. Put it on the top and I'm going to start at the top in the middle and just start gathering the top half of the hair with the fine tooth comb. So I'm not allowing any lumps to start from the very beginning. Now you do have to work fairly quickly because you are working with hairspray, but the dampness of the hair does help. Depending on the thickness of the hair, you can do a smaller ponytail and then add a second ponytail afterwards, or if you can get it all in one go, that's awesome, good for you. I, however, like to double up. I'm gonna add a little bit more hairspray, just to give me a little bit more working wiggle room so it's nice and smooth again i use double rubber bands if i want it really secure Now I'm gonna pull the bottom half up and it's easiest to do upside down. If you're working on somebody else, you can have them lean forward, but if you're working on yourself, it's easiest to just bend over. Same process, just upside down. So I used a third rubber band and just brought the bottom half of the hair up and then just bound it all together so now I have one ponytail. Now I'm going to do more hairspray and start combing it back a little bit more. You can see that even even though I was really careful there is still a little bit of wiggle room in here that I could have gotten up but I'm gonna be able to hide it later. Underneath isn't too big of a deal. Okay, so now I've got that. That's the easy part. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. With my amount of hair, I can do almost anything I want with my hair. I can do a single twist and work it around that way and then shape it the way I want, put a hairnet on it and pin it. 
I can do a double twist, which is very pretty, really nice for an audition. You take one half of the hair, and I'm gonna put it around this way. And I'm gonna use bobby pins that actually match the color of my hair, since it's for a performance. Again, always the bumpy side down. So I've gone halfway around, then I'm going to take the other half and twist that up and start here. I need to twist it harder. And bring it around. Some people call this a cinnamon bun. And if you have a whole lot of hair, you can do, instead of doing it in half, you can do like five or six different twists, all starting in different directions, and it kind of looks like a cinnamon roll or a spiral on top of your head. It's really pretty. Okay. Then we just pick this up again. one and bring it this way. Now you can see that this bun is flatter than my other bun that I made earlier. Makes me look like I have more hair. <clears throat> also great because if I did have a couple of those lumps in my hair somewhere, having a bun that is this wide, I would be able to hide it. And again, if I had a whole lot of hair and the bun was even larger, as I have seen some girls with a tremendous amount of hair, their buns extend like all the way up to here, around here, um, then you can really cover a lot of ground. This is also great if you're doing like a floor bar and you want something flat that you can lay down on the ground. Now, once I've got that done, basically all I need is a hairnet. I don't have any hair nets, I try not to buy them because I always put holes in them really fast and they're kind of expensive. But if you just put a hair net on top, um, you know, tuck in the little edges, put a couple more pins in, and then I've got a little bit of a lump right here. I wouldn't want that to happen. A little bit more hairspray. Pull that back. No. Pull it at an angle, bumpy side down. Put an X right on top of it. Lump gone. So that's how you do a performance quality bun and a regular ballet class bun. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. More tutorials coming soon. Check out the blog beyondthebar.blogspot.com. Thank you.